G'day guys, it's Jessie Holton, your Stamping Up Demonstrator for Australia, jessieholton.com. Thank you for joining me for another live crafting video. I thought I would jump on quickly, I'm making this, I've got an idea in my head to make a really cute little gatefold card, I think that's what it's called anyway. Um, so I thought that I would just jump on live and share um, cutting out the bits with you and I've already started on the card but maybe we can finish it together. I'll flip you around. I will give you a fair warning though. I've got both my boys home today, so you might hear a bit of squealing in the background. <laughs> We're going rogue. <laughs> And right on cue, Ryan has started yelling. Alrighty, so I'm these are the framelits that match the so sentimental bundle. Uh, and so I've just layered up the three of them here together and just try and get it relatively straight and centered and then I'm going to very carefully put my plate down on top. I don't tend to use washi tape unless my framelits or my plates are quite bent. Let's have a look and see if that went through. Oh, that's pretty good. Look at that. Okay, so now I've got these three little pieces. Hang on, I'll put put the big shot away. Alrighty. So I've used those three um, framelits to cut out these are the, the two bits that I'm going to use and this bit is really cute so I'm going to keep it because I'll use it on something I'm sure and then I've got my little I'm pretty sure this is called a gatefold card uh, and so what I was thinking of doing was gluing that on one side and then gluing that on that side so that when you open it up it opens like so and we'll do some white heat embossing on here so let's check out which sentiments fit I think yummy licious or sending hugs maybe this calls for a confetti it's a brand new stamp set I haven't inked any of these up yet calls for confetti. I think that's a really cute little sentiment. And is there a nice put on the inside. I think your friendship is a blessing, probably. <laughs> the two kind of don't go together, but I don't really want to put a wedding sentiment on it. Although this paper would look pretty for a wedding card, wouldn't it? This is the best dressed the best dress paper stack and it's got some really pretty little papers on there hi Sherry thanks for watching okay let's pop this on excuse if my head went in the uh, went in the video there and your friendship is a blessing 
We're going to do some confetti as well. I feel like we should, because there's some little confetti stamps on here. I think that we should use some of them. They're pretty cute. Okay. And some confetti. See how much crafting I can get done before my boys come in and disturb the peace. <laughs> I don't usually go live on a Friday because I've got both the boys home. And I don't usually craft on a Friday because I've got both the boys home. But I've got class tomorrow and so that I'm just having a little play around with some extra ideas for class tomorrow. Hi Angie, oh thank you very much, I do appreciate it. Okay, what are we going to do? I think white? Oh, what about... Might do, might do white for the sentiment and then shimmery white for the confetti powder there this calls for confetti and hang on oh the white on here first some stamping with some little confetti <laughs> super cute and we'll get out the shimmery white how fun is this shimmery white and shimmery black embossing powder if you guys haven't tried it yet it is so pretty. The white has like silver through it. It's got a little bit of iridescent, but um, it shows up really well. The iridescent shows up really well on the black, the shimmery black embossing powder. Definitely give them a go. They are a lot of fun. Okay, excuse the noise for a minute while I heat set this. Hi Christy, hi Karen, hi Monica. <laughs> yes, I'm glad I've got you addicted to, to heat embossing Angie. I do love heat embossing. Hi Michelle. Okay, I think I've caught up with everyone now. Yeah, I've got to buy some more of this shimmery stuff as well. I'm running a bit low. So I'm just going to use my bone folder to hold it down because I haven't got a lot of room for my fingers and I don't want to burn my fingers. Okay. See if I can get a bit more light. That's better. <laughs> Would have made the heat embossing easier if I hadn't opened that up first. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. 
So now, how cute is this? Can you see the shimmer in the the little confetti? Little silver bits of the shimmer in there. Okay. So I think this is going to be. I suppose I could probably do it. I don't really like that that way. I was expecting the sentiment to sort of be in the other direction. <laughs> Looks like we're going to make a landscape card today. <laughs> Unplanned landscape card. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick glue on... the top half of this and glue that down in place so make sure that's on straight Okay, and then this one, I'm going to stick a glue on the bottom half. And keeping it closed the way I want it to look when it's, you know, closed. I'm going to line that up inside there. Okay. How pretty is that? And then when it opens, it goes like that. It's cute, isn't it? Alrighty, so we'll do the inside as well. Uh, and what did we say? Your friendship is a blessing. And do I have a little strip? I wonder if I've got a thinner strip. Alright, so we'll just trim this down a little bit. It's just a little bit of excess from the same print of paper that I used on the front. So I'm going to trim that down to 14.5 centimetres so that it fits on here. It's a nice way to use up your scraps as well. It's such pretty paper, you don't really want to toss any of it out. There we go. Alrighty, and lovely lipstick. Lovely lipstick. that looks pretty doesn't it and I have really been getting into doing this lately I've done it on like all my cards for this class <laughs> the girls are probably going to be like alright Jess enough splatter but you know one more one more Because I just think it looks so pretty. Yay! Done! And we're just going to give this a little bit of a flap around because 
the ink splatters are a bit thicker than what your normal ink when you're stamping so just be careful because it can smudge and spoil the effect That's very cute, isn't it? What do you think, guys? Oh, hi, Kayla. Hi, Karen. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Patty. Lots of you guys hopping on. Thank you for watching, guys. It's cute, isn't it? I actually like that it opens the other way now. I don't mind it at all. It's a bit different. It's a bit nice. That's a Kath and Kim reference. <laughs> Anyone who's wondering. <laughs> anyway, that's that. I might stick a little bit of... Um, Might stick a couple of little sequins on there just because I've got them sitting here. This is Ryan in the background doing handstands and singing garbage truck. Because you know it's fun. Alrighty. that's it I'm done <laughs> thank you very much all right guys oh hi Lorraine you're hopping on just as I'm finishing up it's only a quickie today but that is that all right and I will post this up <laughs> thank you for all the hearts Angie <laughs> um I'll pop this up some photos of this one and um thank you for joining me for a little random quickie today uh, if you have any questions or queries, do let me know. I've used Lovely Lipstick and um, Best Dressed Designer Series Paper and the So Sentimental Bundle. So that's that one. So I'm sentimental and it's got the little framelets that go with it. These are really cute. And these ones actually work really well with the rectangle stitch edge dies. If you've got those ones as well, they work really well together. Anywho, uh, if you guys have any questions, give me a holler. I do have a couple spaces left in my stamp camp for September if anyone wants to come along. Um, I think I've got two bedrooms left, so you can book a room to yourself if you like, or you can twin share. So it's either two or three or four people can still fit, depending on how you want to split it up. And there is also an amazing joining deal going on at the moment. So if you are a craft addict and you would love to get a discount, I would love to have you on my team. Give me a holler if you have any questions about that. Um, it's $169 to join and you get to choose your own kit. You get um, a free mini guillotine. You get a paper stack with four samples of papers from like four different packs of paper. You get a stamp set of your choice, plus you get the $235 worth of anything else that you choose, and you get an ongoing 20% discount, and of course you get to be part of my amazing team of women, beautiful women, from all over the all over Australia. I almost said all over the world, but that's not quite true. <laughs> anyway, that is that. You guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next week. Bye!